welcome. So this is a short uh, yoga practice that you might want to use before bedtime or at bedtime to induce a sense of relaxation and get your body and your mind ready to sleep, which might help if you're experiencing different um, difficulties, finding sleep or um, falling asleep. Um, now, this is a short practice, but you can lengthen it by staying in each or some of the postures uh, longer. Uh, so just really follow what feels good to you is the key to this practice. It is suitable whether you are trying to conceive, whether you are pregnant or whether you are postnatal. It's really suitable for everybody. But if you are over 30 weeks pregnant, you want to have a flat cushion or maybe a block available so that when we go onto our back, you can elevate your pelvis and it'll be flat on your back, which is um, not good after 30 weeks of pregnancy because you would be pressing on the vena cava. So this is the only precaution you have. You don't have to have a yoga mat. I've used just a blanket. I really like the warm feeling of it. Um, or you might want to practice this little sequence on your bed. You'll see it's very easy to remember. And so you won't even need to watch your phone or listen to your computer uh, to follow the instructions. So let's get started. So um, I'll just face that way, but you can hear me. And we'll just start just in a kneeling position. If that feels comfortable, you can bring the cushion under your bottom here and then take your shoulders all the way to the ears and then release with a big sigh to arrive in your mini practice and a few more times inhale to your ears and then letting go of the tension dropping your bags stepping out of the frenzied pace of life just to bring the focus on yourself. And you might want to do a mini scan of your body, just observing if there's any area of discomfort and taking a little wiggle if that feels like an invitation. And then bring your hands to the lower abdomen. See if you can find your breath, connecting with your breath. So just bringing your focus on the inhale, entering the nose, and the exhale, leaving the nose or the mouth. And as you bring your attention to your breath, the breath deepens and tends to slow down as well. And with your hand on your lower abdomen, see if you can feel the abdomen inflate slightly as you inhale. And deflate slowly as you exhale. So in this practice, we will try to take full breath from the lower belly and returning to the lower belly, the place of our root chakra, the place of our safety. And we will also focus on the exhalation to soothe the nervous system and trigger the relaxation response in our bodies. And then from here, you can release your hands in front of you. And we're going to come to an awful position. The knees are under the hips and the hands are under the shoulders. The neck is in line with the spine. Now from here, inhale. And on the exhale, release your hands between your arms. Tuck the pelvis under and press into your arms to come into a cat pose, stretching the upper back. And then shift your hips all the way behind you to come into an extended cat. From here, release your forearms to the mat and then move your weight forward into your hands before pushing yourself back up. And then we're going to roll again. With the exhale, we round the back and we shift backwards. Stretching the whole back and then inhale, we move forward, pressing into the hands to come back up. So moving for a few times like this with your own rhythm of breath. Focusing really on finding a nice contrast between the rounding and the releasing of the spine. So finding fluidity in the spine. Moving slowly and mindfully. And you might find that if you close your eyes, 
you can really tune into your body and feel where you need that extra stretch, that extra release. And really enjoy, suck it in. Savor the release from the warmth, unwinding. So for the ladies who are doing postnatal yoga with me, you know that in this posture sometimes we also try to engage our pelvic floor. But when we get ready to sleep, now is not the time. Instead, really enjoying the spiral, the flow of the knee. And then we'll take one last one. And then this time we'll stay low and come into a child's pose. Now your choice to fold your forearms to make a little pillow for your head. Or to take the forehead all the way down to the floor, extending your arms in front. Or you might want to cocoon yourself with your arms. So whatever feels comfortable, just using this pose to come back to yourself. To start shutting off from simulation and the outside world. Connecting maybe more deeply with your breath. Or maybe enjoying this time with your growing baby in your womb. So staying there for maybe 10 or 15 breaths. But you can choose to stay longer if that feels good. And then slowly pushing yourself back up to kneeling position. And then from here, we're going to transition to lying on our backs with our bottom as close as possible to the wall. So this is where you might want to have your cushion either for extra comfort or to elevate your pelvis if you are over 30 weeks pregnant. Now we want to place our feet against the wall and we want our um, calves as parallel to the floor as possible to have our back fully supported. Now if you have a little bum like me, maybe move it out of the way so you feel that the whole back is releasing down into the floor. Now from here you can take a few breaths. Again connecting with the breath in the lower abdomen. And then you can release your hands to the floor. Inhaling here and then exhale, press the legs into the wall. Inhale, soften. Exhale, pressing the legs into the wall. A few more times. Again, each move, do them as many times or as few times as is comfortable and enjoyable to you. This is your practice, your time. And then from here, we're going to bring our legs down into our recline, butterfly recline, goddess pose. Now, if that feels too strong in the hips, you can just come down and rest with your feet flat on the mat. Or you can place cushions underneath, or if you're in your bed already, putting the pillows or bunching up the duvet to support your legs open. And again, you can bring your hands into the lower abdomen. And with each breath, letting the body soften. So trying not to hold on to the body, letting the body open and soften. Maybe one more breath. And then from here, you can use your hands to close your legs together. And then this time we're gonna extend our legs up the wall. So Viparakarani, 
helping. Extra fluid comes back down. Drain away. So if you're suffering for heavy legs, this is really good. But generally soothing, helping the blood flow return to the heart. And again, you can choose to have your hands either side of the hips, or you can bring your hands on the lower belly, whatever feels good. And so this is literally putting your feet up. And again, trying to release as much of your back down onto the floor. Letting the body become heavy. Letting your body being carried by the floor. As if the floor was pushing under you. And enjoying this moment of sweet release. Now you can stay there as long as it feels comfortable. And if you feel that your mind wanders, then bring it back to your breath. Simply the inhale and the exhale. Going in and out of the nose. feel that you want to come out of this practice just taking a little wiggle of your toes and your fingers and then maybe bending one knee all the way to the chest or you see outside the chest if you have a bump in the way and then extending the leg maybe turning at the ankle and then the other way nice hug to the chest and then a little wiggle the toes of the ankle and then taking both knees up and then maybe you want to give yourself a little rock side to side or maybe little circles giving you a little getting a little back massage And to come out of your practice, well, you can roll onto your side and either get ready to sleep or if you're not there yet, just pushing yourself nice and slow back to sitting. And you can finish your practice back to your kneeling position. Hands to the heart center. and then get ready to sleep. So namaste, sweet souls. I hope you enjoy that practice and I hope it leads you to sweet dreams. And I'll see you soon.